Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of COD Zombies news from the game and the community. This is COD Zombies HQ. Our first story of the day comes from Pro Syndicate and it's in regards to the huge YouTube drama happening right now about their involvement in a Counter-Strike Global Offensive skin gambling website that they didn't disclose they were the owners of. They both made videos promoting and using what is essentially their own site and didn't disclose it. Well, in regards to the drama, Pro Syndicate tweeted this, I'll be responding to everything soon. I want to make sure I address every issue possible when I do. Pro Syndicate is one of the biggest zombies YouTubers on this website with just about 10 million subscribers. will be interesting to see how he responds to these allegations. Moving on to our second story of the day, when people ask you why are they re-releasing these new quote-unquote new zombie maps for the old gen consoles? Well, check out this top 10 list released by PlayStation for PS3 and PS4 add-ons in the month of June. Taking a look at the PS3 side, we can see topping off the list is the Giant Zombies map. And down in the third position is the Awakening map pack. Whatever DLC packs seem to be released for old gen seem to be doing very, very well on those platforms. They're very profitable and a lot of people want to get in on the action that the new gen console players do. Taking a look at the PS4 side, we can also see the giant topping up that PS4 add-ons list as well as Eclipse and Awakening later down. Uh, with the Season Pass at the very bottom in the 10th position. Black Ops DLC in general doing very well on the PlayStation platform in the month of June. And moving on to our third story of the day, a huge Zombies YouTuber with over 800,000 subscribers, Mr. T Lexify, made a awesome video responding to a bunch of hate comments on the newest DLC 3 Gorod Kurobi zombie trailer. Now when the trailer initially came out, there was a whole bunch of people saying that the map looks way too complex, that why is there dragons in zombies? And a lot of people think that this community or these comments came a lot from the multiplayer community and not necessarily from the zombies community who were very excited about it. Uh, Mr. T Lexify made a video kind of responding to these comments, uh, just kind of making fun of the people, and it, it's it's great. You should take a look at it in the description of this video. And last but not least, we have two tweets from the developers of this game. Starting it off with Treyarch, they tweeted out today, longing for another leisurely holiday weekend. Don't worry, we've got you. Double XP goes live tomorrow. You're welcome. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, double EXP drops this weekend. It's a great time to start leveling up your Zombies account. Get those prestiges through. Try to get to max. Level up your weapons. It's going to be awesome to play this weekend. And today, Call of Duty also tweeted out more Zombies, more multiplayer, more DLC. Tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. We're expecting another Zombies trailer, or perhaps the introduction to the map, or perhaps an explanation of the story, a little bit more, kind of a more traditional DLC trailer with all the maps included in the map pack, including Zombies. We'll have to see what they actually release. People are very excited. This looks like a very interesting teaser image below the tweet, too. Some kind of black hole, or, you know what, I'm not exactly sure what it could be. A galaxy, maybe? We'll have to wait and see till tomorrow. But until that time comes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video. Check out www.codzombieshq.com for more information. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you tomorrow.